Hello, this is Heng and you are watching Campbell Tutorial Channel and today you are going to learn the rule of the web crawler on the internet. Before you making a scrubbing tool, one of the really important things is you have to respect the rules of the website owner put in place. To do that is you could check the file we are called the robots.txt, also known as a robot exclusion protocol. On each host should have a robots.txt file in the root of the website. So the primary purpose of the robots.txt is to restrict the web robots to access the website by the following links. Because it contains a list of the patterns message agreement between you as the robots and the webmaster. That is the define what you can and cannot get from the server. If this file does not exist, the crawl robots will assume that the web owner wishes to provide no instructions and crawl entire website. For very first line, user agent columns space and asterisk. This first command means the instructions to all search bots. One is command specifics, or in this case with the asterisk, all search bots or crawler will come to allow or disallow commands that you can specify your restriction below. The following code disallow with a capital D colon space and forward slash tell the crawler that should not visit any pages on the site. Forward slash mean the root of the layer in the website is restricted. Sometimes this allow with a specific folder or file means they restrict the bots to access that specific files or folder. For the line number 4 which is restricts all directories that start with the admin. For an example, the site has a following folders on the root directory such as admin-images, admin-panel, admin-files, any single line would restrict to access all these folders. And sometimes robots.txts contain pattern matching to block access and maybe we have already known and one is the asterisk which means for every blah 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 something like that. So let's take a look on line number 5 which means a uh, block access or the dynamic generated URL that contain question marks for example. So let's go to the browser for the real example. You can go to the ebay.com slash robots.txt. You will be able to see list of directory and instructions that tell us which URL paths should be get into and which bots should not get into. For instance, in the beginning of the line, user agents which is tell all bots include your bots as not allowed to access. So what should not be accessing? Wait, in the next line, will tell us which path should not access like any directories which are contained suffix, underscore, kw, something like that should not be accessed. Okay, well, by the way, robots.txt file which have websites to reachable in the SEO which stand for the search engine optimization. Okay, I hope you learned some things in here. Also apply what you have learned and don't forget hit the subscribe button and comment down below if you feel up something and I will see you in the next video.